Hi, my name's Rowan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire So Girl. I'm coming to you today with just a little bit of a catch up. I thought that would be quite nice. Don't know about you. Um, I'm sweating a bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a bit hot. We're still in this little bit. We've started to come down in the UK from this heat wave. And there's a massive reason for this. OK, this is my theory. My theory is I've got a week off work next week. And we've planned loads of stuff with the children and it's all going to be outdoors. So what's happening now is the weather gods have kind of gone, well, we've had this outrageous heat wave. So what we're going to do is we're going to start just calming things down a little bit with the temperature. And then we're going to start thunderstorms and then we're going to rain all next week. Mm -hmm. So the forecast is to rain. To rain. We haven't had rain for about two months and I chose to take a week off and now I've jinxed it. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. We'll just take a raincoat and, you know, a little poncho thing and an umbrella and we'll have a wonderful time, honestly. So, yeah. So I'm still a little bit sweaty because it's still a bit warm. Uh, thunderstorms not due until <laughs> I'm on my week off. I'm not bitter or anything. That's why I like to go abroad and almost be guaranteed sunshine. But anyway, I thought I'd quickly show you just some little bits that I've got recently, where I'm up to with my sewing plans, because I've obviously done my plans video, because I was a good girl this month. And then I've also got, which I'll put on at the end, another cherries haul. Now, you can choose to either switch off at that point, or you can continue to watch and see the random stuff I've got from cherries. I have done a cherries haul once before. Um, so thank you to cherries for collaborating with me. They've sent me, there's just, a disclaimer a free voucher for me to purchase some things off their website and then they offer you a discount as well if you choose to also order from them so i'll do that at the end so hang on for that if you want to see that so i have been buying the odd thing i haven't been buying fabric people i'm trying not to buy fabric at the moment unless i'm physically there with somebody but it is my birthday on saturday so the likelihood is you know i might have asked for some vouchers and stuff but we'll go into that at another date I thought, well, let's do what, what, let's do like a swap thing that we got given. Oh God, I can't even speak today. Let me start again. So, so got this on uh, Instagram, did a scrunchy swap. So you kind of said, nominate yourself, and then they put you together with a partner, and then you had to send each other a scrunchie. And I, so I sent my scrunchie on the because I got paired with the lovely Jane from the Brum Stitcher. So I'll put a picture of what I made her here, if I can find it. Again, if not, I'll be pointing into thin air. But I made Jane um, some scrunchies and also a headband, um, you know, a twisted headband that I use all the time to put my take my makeup off and things like that. So I made her a matching headband as well. So she got a couple of scrunchies and a headband for me. But she sent me the most beautiful parcel. I mean, she completely outdid me, if I'm honest. <laughs> She sent me this lovely card, which says Born to Sew on it, which is really funny because I actually have one of these cards and I've just sent that to somebody as well. How strange is that? Um, but yeah, she sent me a lovely card just saying that she loved my channel, which was really cute. And um, she hoped that I enjoyed what was inside. So she made me three scrunchies. <gasps> Look at those. How, I mean, obviously she knows me well. Animal print. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? I have actually got this fabric bit in the coral colour and it's a, it's an old work in progress from when I was extremely thinner than I am right now. Uh, so that might just stay there for a little while. But I had like the coral colour of this and I think they had it in mustard and all sorts. So I absolutely love that. And then she's made this, which I think is a Liberty print. Oh, cobalt blue. Again, my absolute fave. And then look at this cute ditzy one. How beautiful are they? But they're also, you know, sometimes you get scrunchies and they're either too tight or too big and loose on your hair. These are perfect because I've already worn them. So thank you if Jane's watching. Thank you very much. But not only that, she also sent me some other bits in here. I'm going to open this little thing so I can show you what it was. She sent me these. Mm. So cute. And they're the Kylie and the Machine Sidekick labels with the pussy cat on. So she knows me very well, obviously, because of my cats. And then she sent me some little buttons, which are absolutely gorgeous. I think there's six of each. So little red buttons. And then, oh, look at those. Because she obviously knows that red and pink combined 
is my favourite colour combination. So how thoughtful is that? It really, really made me smile when I saw that because I thought that's that's something really personal that she sent to me. Unless it was just a complete fluke, uh, Jane, you know. <laughs> but I thought it was really personal. I'm sure it was. But not only that, I mean, there's a disclaimer here. She sent me an Nescafe Vanilla pouch as well. And this was, I'm assuming, to drink with a massive bar of Galaxy that she put in there. I would say the Galaxy bar lasted less, less than 48 hours. It's a while ago now, so it's nowhere to be seen, I'm afraid. <laughs> Might be why I didn't lose weight on Slimming World that week. Hmm. My son, eldest son, came to me and said, where's that chocolate mum that you got? And I was like, um, uh, it's nowhere about, slightly in my stomach, sorry. But not only that, but Jane also put a couple of packets of um, Haribo's in for the boys as well, which I thought was really, really thoughtful, so... What do we want to bet is going to happen? I need a fan. I need a fan. Eee, if I put the, if I open the windows though, because it's Tuesday morning again, the bin men are going to come again, aren't they? Beside the bin men, window cleaners, you know me. Um, this is another thing that I bought. This is from my local shop. I'm going to take it out of the wrapper because the sunshine will not be good. But in my, I've got a local art shop in Osset and I always try and buy local. Look at this beautiful card. How blooming gorgeous is that? So it says sewing room there and then it's got like all your storage stuff and the basket of stuff and all your accessories in the sewing machine. That's just the most beautiful card I've ever seen in my life. So I've got one of them. Um, then I decided, well, okay, again, this is Victoria's fault from Little Rosy Cheeks, that's all I'm going to say. She put a thing up on her stories to say that she had 15% off, I think it was. Is it 15% off? I can't remember now. And also that Ethel and Joan had a discount code and I was like, well, I'm going to have to go buy some then. I'm trying not to buy labels at the minute because I've got a lot, but I'm still not through my Kylie the Machines advent calendar from last year. And I'm like this about whether to order this year's one or not, so... It's getting out of hand my label situation but um victoria had um launched a few different labels recently and one of them spoke to me and it's this one so if you can see sorry about the light let me take them out again um as soon as i saw this one on her new launch oh, i was just like i have to have this for anybody who knows me they will know why because it says it is what it is. I say that all the time. And it's in this gorgeous turquoise colour with yellow writing and pink round it. I mean, what a colour combination. Sorry, my phone's not um, doing well at thing. And then on the back of it, look at that. How beautiful is that? So I, I have to get them. And while I was on, I thought, well, I've also seen these ones as well, which are part of the new collection. So I'd said to myself, you're only allowed two packets. Two packets. But there was three that, I, well, there was more than three that I really wanted. But there was the three three new ones that I really wanted. So this was the other one. Made in me time. How beautiful is that? I love it because it's like muted tones and then it's quite bright. And then on the back, it's like the sunshine rays. How lovely is that? I just think that's absolutely beautiful. Then there was one other set. And so I kind of said to myself, you're only having two sets. You're not allowed anymore. Um, but I was only and arming which ones to get. Anyway, they turned up and inside them was the other pack that I wanted. So I'm like, I had to go back and have a look on my receipt because I'm like, did I just buy three packets even though I told myself I wasn't allowed? No, I did not. I think Victoria read my mind and she very, very kindly gifted these to me. How blooming lovely is that? So... She didn't put a note in to say she'd gifted me them though. So I was like, oh, I must have bought them. I must have actually just rebelled and bought them myself. But I messaged her and said, I've just checked my receipt and I didn't buy these. Uh, I think you might have sent me them in there. And she was like, no, no, it's just a little gift from me. And I was like, oh, I can't believe you've given me those ones. They were the ones I wanted. But anyway, it's a pack of six and you get three of each. I've already used one. Um, look at these. Craft Couture. Look at the colours on those. It's like really kind of retro. I love it. I think it's to do with, is it the Bargello edit as well? She's kind of done it in collaboration. There's this one that says I made this. Oh, look at the colours. And then this one, which I think might be my favourite. I've already used this in something. 
your limited edition. Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? So thank you, Victoria, if you do watch this. I really appreciate it. It was a lovely, kind gesture to send me that extra pack of, uh, of sewing labels. And I think someone was spying on me, basically, because how would you know? How would you know? Anyway, and then obviously on her story, she was like, go over and check Ethel and Joan out, because they've got a discount too. And I was like, I've had Ethel and Joan buttons before from, I think they were in my So Heavy Jane um, box. So I've treated myself to a couple of packs of kind of the size that I would normally use. Let me just double check what they are so I'm not telling you porcupines. Yeah, they're a centimetre, I think, those. Are they? No, they're not. They're 15, maybe just under. But I really like this size and I think they're perfect for shirts. And my problem is I have lots of bright coloured buttons. But I like these because these have got flecks of orange and pink in. I have had these ones before, I think, from... Um, I think it was from my So Heavy Jane box and I loved them. And then I've got these ones which have got all different pastel colours. That's got lemon, blue, peach, pink. Gorgeous. So I treat myself to those as well. While I was on the lookout for um, buttons though, I needed some white buttons really quite. I, I do this all the time as well. I've, I've worked this out when I watch back and edit my video that I'm constantly flicking my hair. And I'm like, stop doing that. Does that annoy you? I'm really sorry if it is because when I'm editing it really annoys me. But I needed some white buttons to finish off my Rita dress um, a while ago. So I went online and I wanted something quick. So I went onto eBay and just picked some really easy white buttons. Anyway, they didn't turn up and I was like, where are these white buttons? All was safe because I went into my local, there's a local little knitting shop in Osset and they have loads of buttons in the back. So I managed to get some, which was great. And then I realised that when I'd ordered these buttons, they were actually coming from China. I obviously didn't read the description properly, did I? I must have looked at that many buttons that I was overwhelmed. So they just turned up, I think, you know, three weeks later. So they were relatively cheap. And I think if you bought three, you got a pack free. So obviously I'm a sucker for any marketing like that. So I just got some plain little white ones. I think these are just a centimetre. But they're really like mother of pearl almost. Sorry if you can't see those. Um, but they're really cute. Oh, she says, dropping one straight away. And then I got a few bags of mixed mixed ones. So there's these. You can see those because of the light. So they're all different pastel-y kind of colours, but they've got swirls in them. They are really, really pretty, actually. Let's see if I can dig one out to show you. I did get, to get out a pink one so that you can see it properly. Can you see that? Probably not. It doesn't want to focus, does it? It's not having it. Um, but there's loads of different colours in that as well. And then I got these ones, which is also another mixed pack, but brighter colours with like a see-through flower in it. Look at all those. So I'm, I know I'll make use out of those because, you know, when you've got plain coloured buttons, you can't go wrong. And then I got these ones for free. Oh, these are just ace. These are wooden buttons, so I probably wouldn't put them maybe on dressmaking, but I would probably put them, you know, on craft type things. Look at them. How cute are they? And they're in all different colours. So some of them are polka dots and some of them are like a little tartan. But there was loads in there. And I can't remember how much they cost, but it was like less than a tenner for all that. So good for me to have in my stash. You know what I'm saying. So they're just the little purchases I've made recently. But like I say, I am trying to be good. So... So where am I with my projects? Like you maybe have seen from my plans video, I've already made my pyjamas out of my striped fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. Done, dusted. I have also done my The Fabric Revival uh, blog make. So I haven't written my blog up yet, which I will be doing hopefully next week when I'm off. But I have made the garment and taken a load of photos. And I can't remember if I showed you some of the fabric in the last video, but this is part of it, just so you know, just a little cheeky thing. Um, the Saguaro set that I'm doing a collaboration with, so do it Emma, I think is probably going to be pushed to September. We kind of said August, September time, and I think, bless her, Emma's got a lot on her plate at the moment, and I've got quite a lot of commitments this month as well. So I think that might go on the back burner until next month. My Shelby dress in the outrageous pink and red polka dots. Um, I went to cut that out the other day, the pattern, and I've ordered the wrong thing again from Fabuloso. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? 
So first off, I ordered the short version to be printed. Well, I want the long version. And then second of all, I attached the uh, A4 printouts. So <laughs> bless him. John is on the case and has put it in the post to me yesterday after I sent the correct file. And hopefully that'll be coming today or tomorrow so I can start cracking on with that. And that has now actually turned into a collaboration. So um, the lovely Alison from So Like Dotty, she contacted me to say, I've got that fabric as well. I mean, we do tend to have quite similar fabrics because we've got very outrageously bright taste in fabrics. And she said, why don't we do something together? So she's coming to Sew Tune as well next month when uh, when I'm going. So we've said, why don't we try and get it made up for then? And then we can have some photos taken together and do a bit of a collab. So that's happening. Um, I need to cut out my purple dress for Michelle Sews Again's um, like vlog tour type of thing that she's doing uh, next month. I want to get prepped with that. Um, but then um, I've also got another collab going on <laughs> and that is with the lovely uh, Renata from Twilight Stitcher. So I've got quite a bit to go. Oh, but like I said, I've got next week off and although we're doing something pretty much every day, we'll have some time in the evening where the boys will probably be gaming with their dad and stuff like that. So I'm quite confident that I'm going to crack on with that. So I've got a few things to be getting done each evening this week just to get everything prepped, I think. And then I can sew my little heart's content. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at at the moment. So if you're not bothered about cherries, goodbye. It was lovely to have you with me. I've done that quite well in 16 minutes. But if you do want to stay and you want to see my cherries haul, which is probably the most random thing ever, then stay tuned because I've got it all sat here waiting. So... Like I say, this is the second time I've worked with cherries. And what they are is they're basically, for anybody who doesn't know, they're an app where you can buy. They're kind of like an online B&M or an online home bargains type of shop. So they have everything from hair care, cleaning products, homeware now. They've got homeware, which is interesting. Um, and they've got some really nice bits on there. There's pretty much all sorts and I'm going to show you a range from all over. Now last time I did a haul I tried to make it sewing related so that it kind of <laughs> was more relevant to you but this time I'm like do you know what let's just go for it. So I have. So it turned up in a massive box. Now um, you get free delivery over a certain amount as well. I can't remember what that is. If I remember I'll pop it in the description box below. But also um, the parcel comes like this. Now I know it's quite handy for people as well who struggle when they go into the shops on their own to drag back lots of bags of bulky cleaning products and things like that so it will come in handy and obviously the prices are so good because they're comparable with what's in the local um, discount stores so if you want to go and have a look i'll put all of the details below so that you can um you can see and hang on to the end for a cheeky discount off your first order as well now the delivery is super fast and I mean super fast. I think I ordered it one night and I got it not the next day but the following morning and it came in a mahoosive box okay. So I put this mahoosive box, there's a story coming, there's a story coming people, at the bottom of my stairs and I thought I'll get the hubby to take that upstairs and then I can unbox it in front of you guys okay. So that box sat there <laughs> for a day because I'd forgotten to ask and my husband walks past things like that. I don't know if yours does, where you put things on the stairs to go upstairs and they just, it's as if it's not there. It's like magic. Um, anyway, this box was there and then I went out at the weekend and I came back and I said, oh, where's that, where's that box? Have you put it in my sewing? And he went, no, no, I've unpacked it. And I'm like, sorry, what? I've unpacked it, I've put it all away. I'm like, what have you done that for? It's for my vlog. And he was like, oops. And I'm like, you never put stuff away. Why would you put stuff away? what is going on? I think he was trying to get on my good side for something. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, so then we had to go off on a treasure hunt around the house because my purchases were so random <laughs> that there was stuff all over. So last night we went round the house and we had to dig out all the stuff that he'd put away. We had to get it all back out again so I could show you guys. What is going on with my husband? He's getting very efficient at the moment. So I'll go through the most random of random things for you. So number one in my little cherries haul was these. <laughs> I told you it was going to be random. And these are like a chrome radiator era. Now we all know at the minute cost of living, 
energy price rises, etc., is bonkers. So we're trying to think of ways within our household that we can reduce our costs coming into the winter because obviously at the minute it's that hot we do not need the heating on but it won't be long till we do probably my week off um so i've got a couple of these i think these were five pounds for two which is amazing and they just hook over your radiator and it gives you two more layers to be able to hang things on so i've got these and i might actually get a couple more because i'm thinking in the winter i'm going to be wanting to do this probably more than i will want to be putting my tumble dryer on even though i love my tumble dryer because it means i have less ironing to do <sighs> we probably will come for a time when we're trying to cut down so i bought these and i thought these were a good idea for anybody else who might be thinking the same thing to try and save a little bit of money come to the winter okay that's number one random thing I've also got some tea lights. So there are eight in a pack of these. These are just plain tea lights. Um, and I need these a lot. So um, I use them a lot for wax melts and things like that. And I'm always running out. So I thought rather than wait till I'm down to my last one, I'll get some and put them in my stash. So little um, tea lights. What else have we got in here? Um, paracetamol. We all need those, especially if we've had a little drinky poo, you know, and it's my birthday this weekend, so who knows? <laughs> but yeah, some paracetamol, and I think they were something like 69p or something like that, if not less. And they do all sorts of medicines and things because the other thing, let me see if I can find it, that I got, that I always like to have in my stash is some cowpol as well. So I tend to sometimes when I go to the supermarkets buy their own brand because it's so much cheaper but these are a really good price on cherry so I've got that to go in my little stash as well so there's loads of different there's allergy tablets paracetamol ibuprofen cowpaw cough syrups all that sort of thing as well which is quite handy what should we go on to next oh we'll do a bit more laund laundry wise shall we so I am trying to look at ways of being a little bit more eco-friendly as well. I do um, have quite a lot of cleaning products that are refillable ones um, where you put like a gel in and then you fill it up with water so that you're not using as much plastic. Um, on Although we can kind of, we can um, recycle in our area, spray bottles and things like that, which is great. But I just think anything, anything, little tiny steps that you can do to try and help out is a good thing. So I bought these because I thought they're interested. Now, there will come a time where I do want to use my tumble dryer on the odd occasion. But it says these are called swirl dryer balls. And apparently they work by bouncing around in the tumble dryer and they naturally separate and soften your clothes and they reduce static which is interesting. So I thought as well, you know, sometimes when you get an item of clothing, it's really static. I wondered if that might help towards that as well. So you just pay, put them in your dryer with your clothes before you start the machine and you literally turn them on and let them do the, work, the hard work. Apparently they're safe to use on all fabrics as well. So they're reusable and they're eco-friendly. So apparently it cuts the drying time down. So I thought, you know what? They are worth a bash because if I do end up having to use my tumble dryer on the odd occasion, say I've done a lot of washing and I haven't got anywhere else to put it, um, you can bob these in and you can use them all the time. And they're rock hard, by the way. They're not like spongy. Well, they're a little bit, but they're pretty hard. And they will go into your um, tumble dryer and loosen up everything. So I thought they were definitely worth a try if it's going to, again, reduce cost because it's cutting the time down and a bit more eco-friendly, then I'm all for it. The other thing that I bought, which was household wise, was some of my favourite um, fabric conditioner. Now, I am currently looking at ways to reduce my plastic for things like this as well. I haven't done any um, washing like powder or liquid or fabric conditioner. Or I use e-cover at the moment, which is extortionate, but it's more eco-friendly. The one, the thing I like about this is it's a 100% recycled bottle and you can recycle this in our recycling, so it's not too bad. But this blue one smells like heaven, that's all I'm going to say. There's different ones, it's a concentrated one, so you get 58 washes out of it, which is a lot. You just pop it into that little thing. Oh my god. It's definitely the best one out of all of them, I think, anyway, for making your clothes, clothes smell. But I am going to be doing partnering up with another company, which is an eco company. So watch this space because coming hopefully by the end of the month, there might be a, it'll be a very different vlog for me. But there'll be a dedicated vlog to which will be in a paid partnership with someone, but someone who I kind of believe in. So 
watch the space for that i'll be looking at that um i also got some washing up uh, washing machine cleaner um i've had to get a new washing machine cleaner because mine smelt so bad i had someone come out and look at it i did every single thing that you could find on youtube to try and sort it out i even changed my um drum seal and everything but it was just disgusting and the smell was horrendous so if i left anything in my washer for more than a minute after it finished it would smell musty and i lived with it for over a year and we've anyway we've invested in a new washing machine which is fantastic by the way it's a much cheaper washing machine but it's spot on um but i want to make sure that i'm keeping on top of it all the time so i'm never in that situation again so in this you get two packs as well so i think you just pour this straight into the drum of the washing machine and um pop it on a, a wash cycle of 40 degrees or more so i'm going to make sure that i do that as well on a regular basis the only other things that i've got from a um, household point of view is this which is a daily shower shine now again this isn't the most eco-friendly of things but um it's vegan and it's brilliant and we can recycle these in our recycling bin which is brilliant so yeah we've got some of this daily shower shine as well because we live in an area of really hard water look how hot it is look at my hair it's just expanding it's just getting bigger and bigger isn't it anyway um yeah we live in an area of really hard water so you only have to be in our shower once and you can see all of the marts and all the lime scale building up it's horrible so we tend to try and use this every now and again to help us out and um a hair care product there's loads of hair care shampoos all sorts this is a heat protector so it's um up to 230 degrees heat protection when you blow drying or curling or anything like that or straightening obviously i straighten my hair and it also has anti-frizz in this one as well which i thought would be quite interesting because you know look what's happening already just because it's a little bit humid in here so yeah it's got two times more keratin apparently humidity resistance and frizz control and i've never used this one before it's the schwarzkopf one so i thought i'd give that a go and we also got this so i again need to have a look at a more eco friendly option for this but this is a drain on blocker we have problems with our drains every now and again so i like to have something like this just for emergency purposes really i do need to have a look because i'm sure you can probably do it with bicarbonate of soda and all sorts of stuff like that um crystals so i do need to have a look at that but again we can recycle this in our recycling which is great and then the only other thing that i've got like for that kind of product is some rubble sacks um now we tend to use um biodegradable bin bags and things like that but we are doing our front garden and we're going to be digging out a load of stuff that will need taken to the tip. So the biodegradable bags, even though they are not fantastic, as in from a strength point of view, um, they're brilliant for just normal um, litter. But if you were to put anything heavy in them, they would just rip straight away. But I did notice that these are 100% recyclable and they're 100% recycled as well, which is quite good. And there's seven of these, I think, in a pack. Yeah, and they're 32 litres each. So I've got those ready for when we do the garden. Because, you know, I said that we weren't going to do anything else to our house. Well, we're doing the garden bank holiday for some reason. Anyhow, I got my cats a treat. I, I was just about to shake this, but I daren't because they'll come running to the door and start trying to batter it down, won't they? Some little whiskers treats. Um, I got the boys something, obviously smarties i'm loving their new packaging so there's three in a pack and they just split off if i'm right yep because we buy these quite a lot i think they were a pound for three and they're all in recyclable packaging i mean how good is that and even when they're put into a multi-pack it's done with like a sticker on the front of the back with perforations i just think they're brilliant so i buy those quite a lot i don't know about you but they seem smaller than when i had them hmm. but can you remember we used to have the lid on the top with a with a letter on it but yeah, you see on the front, they're sending a good message talking about recycling, which is nice to see. The other thing I, I kind of treated myself to was this. And this is where another story comes in. <laughs> so these are the Makate Gold Lattes. I love a latte. And we do have um, a coffee machine, but sometimes I'm just too lazy. So I thought I would try these because they were really reasonably priced. And there's 10 sachets and they're made with skimmed milk powder as well. Um, 
but I thought, oh great, on cherries they have tall latte glasses. So I thought I'd have that in a tall glass latte glass, you know, like you get in Costa Coffee or something, while I'm sewing. But the funny thing was, is this what's what? So I said to Steve yesterday when we were trying to find everything, where's that latte glass? The glass, latte glass, he went, there wasn't a latte glass. I went, there was, there was, I've ordered a latte glass. He went, no, there was a skull glass. I said, do you know what? Do you know what? <laughs> this came instead, so I think they've picked the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm like, well, that'd be an interesting latte glass. But you know what? My kids are really happy because they're like, wow, can we have that, mum? So it's kind of a little happy accident that this got picked incorrectly. Um, but yeah, it cracked me up when I saw that because I can just imagine myself drinking my latte through that. But yeah, the kids absolutely love it. So they're going to have milkshakes and things like that in there. So it's going to come in handy anyway. I might have to buy another one now, though, because obviously two children can't share anything. Anybody with two children knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I got that. Right, what other random things did I get? Oh, I got some brown paper. Um, I always think this comes in really, really handy for when you're sending stuff off and I've run out. And I also have stamps and sometimes I'll stamp and decorate them um, and wrap people's birthday. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening with this hair. I just don't get it. Um, sometimes wrap um, birthday presents up in like um, bespoke packaging and obviously it's recyclable as well. So that's really good. So that was, I got a roll of brown paper. Um, now, at Christmas time, I do, um, what's it called now? Samaritan's Purse Operation, can't remember, some child shoe box, something like that. I'll put the details down below if I remember. And it's basically where you can fill a shoe box up with goodies for a girl or a boy and of different age levels. There's three different age levels. Now, I kind of wanted to teach my kids that, you know, not all kids have what they have. Um, it's quite difficult, I think, when you can afford things to teach gratefulness in your children. So we buy stuff throughout the year to then go into these shoe boxes for children that don't get as much as my children do. And the kids really enjoy packing them up and choosing things when we go to the shops. So every now and again, I'll pick up a couple of things to put in there. So I've got two things. There was loads of things I could have bought, actually, but... This is one of them. How cute is this? So it's like a little bag and then it's got your own colouring pens. I've seen these before in places like the works. And then the children can use these to actually colour in their own little bag. How cute is that? So we put all sorts in there. We put toys in there, balls. You can put hats and gloves and things like caps and stuff like that in there. We put um, things like soap and toothbrushes in there hair care products, you know, so scrunchies and things like that for girls. But I mostly like to fill it with toys because that's what kids want, isn't it? And I thought this was really cool. So I think this was only £1.50 and it's an aeroplane that you can make up and everything is in here. So there's a little screwdriver and a little, um, I can't think what you call it. Anyway, one of them. And then it comes with loads of different parts and instructions on how to make that up. So I thought that would be lovely. And because it's small, it doesn't take up too much space in the shoebox because I like to ram it with as much as possible. And then I put a teddy in right at the end and ram it down and put elastic bands around it to get as much in as possible. So we've got a couple of things there as well to go into that. So I've got a box already with things I've been buying. Whenever I go to like a discount shop or anywhere where there's an offer on, I'll pick up a few bits, um, you know, pencil cases and pens and colouring stuff and paints and things. So yeah, so there to go in our little box. Uh, other random things I bought, I bought some hair clips, <laughs> you know, so they've got them in clear, brown and black. Now I saw, I never know what to do with my hair and I'm trying to do different things with my hair, but I'm just basically rubbish at it. But I saw, um, so over it, she had done a thing where she'd put, pinned all her hair up really, really, it looked like it was so easy. It's one of those instructions where you're like, that's really easy, then you come to do it and your hair looks like a dog's dinner. But she clipped these in here and there just to hold her hair up and I thought, I'm going to give that a go. I feel like a teenager. <laughs> I'm going to give that a go, that tutorial on my hair. So I got some hair clips. Now, other random things. Oh, I got some retractable pens. We, we have a pen thief in our house. I don't understand where, but when we come to write cards or anything out, there is no pens in our house. So I got a pack that have got eight pens in them and they've got four black 
and four blue and the black ones are good because sometimes you have to fill forms in don't you with only a black pen my husband's taking the wrapping off this but i got another one of these so i got one of these in my last cherries haul they hang over your door and i use them for when i'm ironing my clothes and then you can just you've got more space to kind of do it and also i used to just hang them on the top of my door and didn't the door and it used to push my husband over the edge so i've got another one of those i think they were like one pound 25 or something like that what other random stuff have i got a frisbee <laughs> get 75p in the summer sale i needed one we haven't got a frisbee and because we've got a week off coming up we're gonna hopefully go to the park quite a lot and go out for the day for have a picnic and things like that and i thought that's a great thing to do when the kids get bored if there's not a lot around you know if there isn't a park wherever we go or you know just be nice to go out and play a little bit and get some fresh air and some exercise so i go for his bit i wonder how long it'll take us to lose that um what else oh i saw this this was also in the summer sale i thought this is gonna be great look at this i think it was 75p and it's called spot the bug and it's got a little magnifying glass it's got a, like a wipeable board and a pen and it basically get, has a picture of the bug, the name of it. And then you have to, when you're out walking out and about, sorry if you can't see that properly, um, you have to mark off how many you've seen. Now my kids, I don't know about yours, if you've got it, get so bored when they're out walking and it does my head in. So I thought that would be really good because it'll hopefully keep their interest. They can go along and then mark off what they've seen. Yay. I thought that was really cute as well. Now, they also do homeware stuff. This has already had the packaging taken off. I'm being used as well by my husband. It's very exciting stuff. A pizza tray. <laughs> I've only got one and we always have more than one pizza. So, and I'm lazy and just put it on the rack and then the cheese comes off and goes into the bottom of my oven and then turns black and then everything wants to blow up and the alarm goes off. So, I've got a pizza I would say they do loads of different ones, roasting tins, all sorts of stuff. I dare put that there because it'll clatter on the floor. And then they've got a really lovely homeware section at the moment. Now, I know I rabbit on about it all the time, but I've just decorated my living room. And I thought this was really cute. So it's a candle, you can see there. And it's a rich amber and cedarwood fragrance candle. And I'm going to take the packaging off now so you can have a look. But it's gorgeous packaging. And I thought this will sit lovely in my new living room. And it's like a little trinket dish, look. Oh, how beautiful is that? Oh, that's nice as well. Mm. Oh yeah, it's lovely. So you've got the candle inside. So I thought when the candle's done, that would actually be beautiful as a little trinket dish. I just love it. So that'd be staying in my living room no matter what. And you could always put like a tea light in there as well to reuse it. How cute's that? And they had like a little range of small vases and larger vases that all kind of went with it. And I just thought they were beautiful. So I had to treat myself to one of them. And then last but not least, oh no, I forgot about this one. Hair care product. A girl's best friend. If you don't use this, what's wrong with you? I have really greasy hair and I used to have to wash it every day until I found this. And now I only have to wash it every other day. It's a lifesaver and it's dry shampoo. So I just spray a bit of it in my hair mess it up and then it just soaks all the oil in bish bash bosh you don't look like you've got greasy hair because <laughs> miracle stuff as well as that but then last but not least my husband was like why have you bought this i'm like because i needed it in my life we started doing electricals as well and i <laughs> i just had to get this We've all had one of these and I know they just stick in the cupboard and sometimes you never use them. But you know what? I'm going to use this so much in the next few weeks that it'll make it worth it. And now I had a look. This is even cheaper than you can buy it on Amazon on their website at the moment because on the app, Cherry's app, because um, I think it was £17 something. And it's a tower one, so it's a pretty good make as well. Um, tower does tend to be kind of more budget, but I also have a tower um, iron that is cordless which is awesome. So I'm already a believer in this brand. So yeah, it's a toaster making machine. I'm already trying to decide what I'm going to have for my lunch. Maybe I'll have it for breakfast. <laughs> cheese and onion, cheese and beans, cheese and ham. Um, there's a heavy theme on cheese I appreciate, but any ideas for what else to put in one of these? I'm all ears. I'm going to be giving this a go today. I can't wait. So that was my last purchase. So I did end up putting some of my own money towards the voucher because I was like, I need that. So what do you think? 
that is a lot of stuff, isn't it? I mean, I've got it all over here. It's going to take me forever to try and put it all back again. But thank you very much, Cherries, for working with me again today. And just so that you know as well, um, if you've never ordered with Cherries before on the app, if you are a new customer, um, I will be putting a discount code along here um, for 25% off your first order. Now, that's quite a lot. And you get free delivery as well if it's over a certain amount of money. So it's kind of a win-win situation. I don't get anything for that, by the way. That is just for you guys. But again, it is only for new customers and you have to spend £20 or more for it to be valid, which is easily done when prices are so good over there. So do go over and take a look and see what you think and let me know if you do end up buying something because I always like listening to people when they're putting the comments, oh, I've used your code. I'm like, yay, that's brilliant. Um, but yeah, my um, all of my work colleagues and everybody uses cherries now because it's so convenient and not having to get all your bulky stuff from the supermarket. Boom. So anyway, that's it from me. Thank you if you got to the end of this because I know I'm 40 minutes in, so you did well. That's all I'm going to say. I thought this would be a really quick vlog, but I say that every time as well. I hope you're all well. I hope you've had loads of time for sewing and hopefully I'll see you again soon on my next vlog. Take care, everybody. Bye.